This is Nick DiNicola at PAX East 2014, and I'm here with... Seth Rosen. I'm a designer from Clay Entertainment. Uh, and we're here looking at uh, Don't Starve, Reign of Giants expansion. Uh, you can see here we've got Wigfrid, one of our new characters. Her, her kind of backstory is that uh, she's a stage actress who kind of employs the method acting. Uh, and she got a little bit too intensely into her most recent role as a Valkyrie. Uh, and she's now pretty well convinced that she is in fact a Valkyrie. And uh, because of that, she's kind of like, she's good in combat, and uh, she's, she's a carnivore, she only eats meat. So she tends to be a little bit more of a nomadic play style. <laughs> so Who has the, uh, the best uh, little notes? Yeah. The beginning of the world. <laughs> we, we have fun with that. Um, so, uh, Reign of Giants being an expansion, it, it is basically adding a bunch of stuff to uh, the Don't Starve survival mode. And uh, it's, it's still a procedurally generated world. We've added two new biomes to that world. We've, one of them is a deciduous forest. Uh, you can see the trees from the deciduous forest right here. Um, and the, they will change their leaves with the, with the different seasons. The other new biome we've got is a Badlands desert type area, and we've added a lot of new creatures and plants and stuff to kind of populate both of these new places. Um, I mentioned before the uh, deciduous trees changing their leaves with the seasons. In the main game of Don't Starve, there's, there's two seasons. There's a warm season and a cold season. With uh, Reign of Giants, we're making it so that there's the full four seasons. So we've got a spring, which is a rainy season, and we've made it so rain is a little bit more of a problem. It affects you a little bit more. Uh, summer is now overheating and then wildfires can start. <laughs> Autumn, uh, where Edie is right now, is kind of the more calm season. It gives you a chance to recuperate and re prepare for the coming threats. The friendliest of seasons. Yes, exactly. And I mean, it, it's kind of appropriate that it's sort of gothy and moody that fall be the uh, nice time of the year. Um, and then winter, which is kind of carried over from the main game. Um, Which I had never survived personally. <laughs> so one one of the things we're doing, uh, she Edie here happened to start in autumn, but uh, when when you start a new Reign of Giants game, there's a random chance for you to start in either spring or autumn. So you'll have to kind of look at your environment and based on what you're seeing around you. Uh, figure out which season you're in and then prepare for either summer or winter depending uh, and naturally those require different resources and you kind of need to make sure that you're preparing for the next season that's actually coming. So do the seasons affect the creatures in the same way they infect the environment? Uh, in, in certain ways, yep. Uh, spring is probably the biggest effect on the creatures. Uh, they generally are a little bit more aggressive, you know, it's mating season. Uh, so the beefalo, for example, are in heat the entire time during spring. And the rain, it's raining so much in the spring that it actually collapses the rabbit holes. So you can't rely on the rabbit holes during spring. Um, yeah, so uh, that, that's like the big uh, animal behavior change that we've made. Um, the, the threats in summer tend to be more environmental with the wildfires. And we also made it so that basically any structure in the game that has uh, any wooden in it at all can burn down. So your whole camp can go up in flames at this point. But we've also provided the player with some tools to kind of counteract that. We've got like a sort of area of effect fire extinguisher thing called the nice ice fling matic And you can use the ice staff to, to put out fires as well. If you happen upon a tree that's about to go up, you can use your ice staff to prevent a forest fire from breaking out. So adding these two new seasons essentially doubles the size of like everything in the world mechanically. Yes, exactly. Uh, that's, that's one thing I'm really personally excited about because in, in the main game of Don't Starve, you get into this situation where once you do survive winter, you can kind of hit a plateau and you're stable, and unless you put yourself in danger, you're probably going to survive fairly indefinitely. So by adding these two new seasons, we've kind of doubled the amount of time before you start repeating stuff, and, and you kind of have to be thinking one, one additional step ahead. Uh, so like in summer, it's hot and you need to stay cold. One of the main ways to do that is by making so certain items out of ice. But because the ice melts, you gotta make sure that you're mining ice when the glaciers are at full size, which is in winter. And then... You gotta keep a lot in your head. Yeah, it, it's definitely, like, it's more difficult for sure, but it's largely more difficult over time. The moment-to-moment -moment gameplay is still pretty similar. 
Um, but yeah, it, it, there's a lot more planning that has to happen and, and a lot of like sort of anticipation of what might be coming. And so is the expansion.